Okay. Bonjour. Uh, merci de l'invitation à, à parler à Resartis. Uh, I was not sure whether to use French or English. I think I will use English. Maybe it's, it's easier for most of the people. Sorry for, pardon pour les Québécois qui sont dans la salle. Um, je vois que le PowerPoint veut, euh, court tout seul. Bon. Euh, je suis là donc pour présenter un projet qui s'appelle... Non, I'm here to present a project called uh, Connexiones <laughs> Improbables, uh, Improbable Connections. Um, uh, it's, it's a project we have been running in, in Bilbao for five years, since, since 2005. And uh, <laughs> the previous name of the project was Dissonantias, that's why it, it wants to appear on the, on the, on the screen. Uh, and we have been um, developing some, some 40 projects since, since uh, uh, in, in these five years. So first I will just give so, some very general ideas and then uh, I will try to explain very quickly and very concretely, concretely what we do. So the, the, the main general idea is that uh, um, today's society cannot afford not to use artist skills in many fields out of the, the artistic field. Um, we need their imagination, we need their creativity, we need their method methodologies. Uh, they can bring other references, critical thinking, uh, creative thinking. Uh, it's also the, the, this idea that uh, culture is economy, so we all know that, but m much more than important than that is that economy uh, is culture, and it's where the artist should be defining what is this economy we want or what, what is this society that we want. Uh, we defend the idea that the artist is a profession li like any other. The artist is an, uh, a researcher and he should be able to, to work in uh, any research team. Uh, we also like this idea of, uh, the idea of defining what, is, what are the competencies and incompetencies of the artist. We, we use a lot of uh, work by François Deck um, uh, defining uh, artist competencies are um, uh, the faculty to experiment, uh, to concept, uh, the faculty for anticipation, and an activity that has to do with certain ethic. Uh, and also the importance of incompetency. So I won't develop that now, but, but I think it's truly an important idea. So basically what we try to do is to find mechanisms to allow artists to work in other fields, in research or innovation projects. So we don't roll in any physical space. We don't use the word residency. Uh, and we try always to respond to the need of our territory, so starti starting the project really from, from needs that we ident identify in, in the territory. So how do we work? First, we look for organizations uh, that, that n feel the need of uh, integrating an artist into that, their research team. They, they define that they define what is the starting point. The starting point is never an artistic project. The starting point is a need, a necessity, a desire, something defined by, by the organization. Then we, we, we match them with, with an artist with a, a long process that I won't, I won't uh, explain now. And then it's nine month uh, collaborations and being the result, uh, a prototype, uh, a dispositive, a catalog of idea, the process in itself, anything. I mean, the, 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 result, the starting point is, is defined, but, but the, the result is very open. And the starting point also has to do had with mid or long term needs or strategies, or, or it, it really has to do with rethinking the activity of the organization, or the way the organization is working, or the way the, the organization is relating to, to its environment. It's never, the starting point is never a need, a very concrete need that the organization needs for the next six months. Uh, it's, it's really trying to, to, to rethink the, the, th uh, the, 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 the activity from, from the basis. So we are a very small platform. Uh, the, the, the money, it's uh, the, the organizations pay the fee of the artist and our mediation role is paid by public institutions, uh, mainly from innovation and industry and some, some money from culture. Um, if, if, if we go into very concrete examples of a collaboration that, that, has been, that have been developed, uh, I would say that 50% of the, of the uh, project have to do with connecting people, and 50% 50, 50 have to do with re rethinking activities. 
Um, so some project very quickly, uh, insurance and security, uh, transformable architecture, domotics and social networks, horizontal and collaborative practices, connecting a polytechnic school with its local environment, man and machine, sustainable urban development, and disabled, disabled people uh, in today's society, I mean, how do we integrate them in society out of giving them uh, a work? Then there is, I think I'm going very quickly, that's great. Uh, so uh, then th there is the very important question of evaluation. Uh, how do we ev evaluate the inputs, the outputs, <laughs> uh, or the results? Um, uh, we, we are in a European project with a, a similar platform uh, called Tilt in Sweden, and we have been working in this issue for two years. So trying to measure the impact of artistic interventions in organizations. The main difficulty is still the image of the artist. The artist is not uh, well seen out of the artistic field, let's say. And, and also today's practices are not known. The, 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 I mean, not regular people, let's say, have, have a very uh, traditional idea of what an artist can do. Um, I would also say, yeah, it's already finished. I would already <laughs> say that uh, it's, it's, a, it's a program that is uh, changing every year. We, have, we did a lot of mistakes at the beginning. We changed radically the project the second year. Um, we are constantly learning. We have a lot of things to improve. And, uh, and we welcome any, any advice or any comment on what we are doing. Thank you very much.